Since the innovation of blockchain and NFTs, clever thinkers have found new ways to turn old valuable things into digital assets. We have seen old luxury watches minted into NFTs, and today we are talking about medieval artifacts. The knights who say nah. Welcome back, Metaverse Monopolists. I am not a financial advisor. This video exists solely for educational entertainment. Please make your own researched financial decisions. So, this is a project concerning the protection of the stories wielded in history through its preservation of the world's largest private collection of arms, armor, and other rare artifacts. It's founded by Nick Ritchie, who is well recognized as an award-winning writer and keeper of arms for the largest private collection of ancient arms and armor in the world. The mission behind this project is to democratize access to these one-of-a-kind ancient artifacts in their collection and turn these truly one-of-a-kind historical objects into 3D NFTs for the metaverse by using groundbreaking photogrammetry technology. These knights may say nah, but I hope you won't say nah to hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, the team is working on taking these 3D artifacts to the metaverse, a world that has interoperability and NFT avatars that will be running around a digital world wearing full suits of samurai armor. They're also pursuing both Web2 and Web3 gaming companies to offer licensing opportunities for some of the most historically impactful weapons in the world. More about these avatars is that the team is going to be dropping 2D collectible avatar NFTs representing different ancient cultures. And these avatars will be able to interact with the 3D weapons and artifacts and will be part of a larger storyline that the developers are building into the project's ecosystem. The project has an entire season written in screenplay format with plans to animate it, but they are currently shopping around for the best animation studio to bring their vision to the metaverse. In their frequently asked question template, they explain that the holders of the tokens will be able to help the knights who say not to fulfill their unique mission. With a desire to perfectly preserve ancient historical artifacts, they plan to purchase artifacts off the private market and get them to multiple cultural institutions and different cultures where they truly belong. And where they can help keep these stories alive. Well, are you wondering how to take your crypto investments to the next level? If so, be sure to check out our millionaire crypto investment strategy using the link in the description. Now, the team announced this project at the NFT NYC in New York City, and they donated $10,000 to the Worcester Museum in Massachusetts. This is the equivalent of putting their money where their mouth is, because they gifted the money to a museum which shares with their mission's values. And on top of that, they also brought a few of the awesome artifacts that they have in their collection to the event in order to get some incredible press. And would you believe it? That's actually what happened. They got covered by Forbes and Art News, thereby spreading the knowledge of their mission to great numbers of eyes and ears. The Knights Who Say Nah recently opened the doors to their carefully constructed website and the universe that will include art artifacts, games, and television scripts. The project is also working at building a Slay the Dragon Web 3 connected game, where you'll be able to battle against mythical beasts in exchange for NFTs. Furthermore, there will be alternately hidden writer's rooms where token holders will receive exclusive first look access to the first draft scripts, concept art illustrations, and a lot more, which adds to the perks of holding their tokens. In a nutshell, as per their website, the Knights will digitize the collection through NFT projects, whose proceeds will support the purchase and donation of additional historically significant artifacts to museum and cultural institutions around the country. The initial mint features PFP NFTs that represent different groups of ancient warriors and will be followed by a subsequent release of realistic 3D models of artifacts from the physical collection. Also, a portion of the fund they get from the Mint will be used to purchase and donate significant artifacts to museums and cultural institutions around the country. Now, to be the first to know about the future plans of this project, you will have to join their email mailing list. If you want to get involved and learn about the artifacts, the warrior culture, and even watch them restore ancient artifacts and other things of that nature, you will need to follow them on their Twitter and Discord. This project is a very unique project regarding the artifacts they are dealing with and taking them to the metaverse through NFTs and avatars backed by blockchain technology. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section down below. On a similar note, there's a project dealing with minting old luxury watch brands into NFTs. 
Tap the tab to learn more about it, and we'll see you inside the metaverse.